Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. I'm Amanda. And I'm Linus. And today we got the Insta360 Go 2 yeah, for right. you guys. And we're actually going to unbox this thing and let you know what's inside. Yeah. So let's get right at it. We, we thought we would, since it's summer, we thought we would try something fun. No, we don't <laughs> have a... Oh, we do. We have the one Mo, but... Osmo. Osmo. Why so many Mo's? Oh, Too many Mo's. All the Mo. I love, first of all, when you first open the package. We haven't gone too deep into this package yet. Think big. Look at that. He's so cute. It's the cutest little camera oh. I've ever seen. Right? So when you open the box up, the, the first thing you see is the camera. But then you get like a quick start guide here. Here's all the fun stuff inside the box that you get. So you get the charging case, which is also a stand. You want to show them how that's a stand? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's all magnetic, so we can just put it in there. Oh, and that's already got a charge on it. So this is guy. This guy's charged. Legs back. Got him right there. Just like that. So smooth. I think it can move back and forth, up and down. Yeah. 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 And then you got a bunch of different mounts. Like this is your baseball cap mount. Oh, yeah. yeah, right? And this is your around your neck mount, I think. Or wait, no, that's some sort of like... No, that's that's the... You can put on walls or something like that. Oh, that's right. Look, it's got the sticky, so, the sticky 3Ms sticky. on it. Is it 3M? It doesn't say here. It doesn't say 3M. But it's on the, on the back of that. It was... Right. Uh, then you get the cable for charging, obviously. Yeah. So this guy, you can put on glass or stuff like that, and you just have it up and... Move them around like this. Very nice. That's awesome, actually. actually. So it's actually giving me instructions on how to open this box to get this open. Oh, yeah. That's the magnetic that you can put inside your shirt. There we go. There we go. Just pull. I got it out. There. Look at that. So. So it's actually, it, it's quite fast at charging. So you charge up this guy. And you can charge the camera into 80% in 25 minutes. Oh, that's awesome. Or full in 35. Does this really go around your neck? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it was going to fit on my head. It felt so small. Whoa. Swing. So just like that. Yeah. Or you could have it so that the mic is... Yeah. Or yeah. not the mic, the magnets under your shirt. Boom. So this must have been the standalone kit. And that goes for 345 euros, right? That's right. That's what you paid for it. That's about what I paid for it. So it's a good... And there's so many different kits that you can buy that gets... Different attachments for bikes and... Yeah, for, for, for your pet. The stick. For bikes or for selfie sticks, like all, all our different kits. Right on. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out... We're going to charge this up a little bit mm -hmm. and figure out how to connect it to the phone. Yeah, they have a cool app. Because there's no memory card for this guy. Right? No. Uh, so you have to use the app to get your footage back and forth, which for me is a little bit of a downside mm. to it. But uh, uh, maybe you can transfer the footage from the... I think you can transfer USB with USB. Cable. Yeah. But we'll, we'll find that out. This is an unboxing. So step one, it's now out of the box. Now we're going to come back in a few minutes after we read the quick start manual. Boom. Boom. And uh, tell you how to use this bad boy. Right? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we get Linus's phone here. We're going to try to scan the QR code. Do you have the QR code scanner on there too? Camera. Oh, there it is. Don't need it. If you go into the QR, it comes up Insta360, and you have Go2 or 1R or 1X2 slash X. So that's the one we want to download. So there you go. Open the app. Then we're in there. So we hold the camera for one second to turn it on. Now it's on. Now it's trying to connect. Oh, look here. It's asking for English. Yes. Oh, video. So connect now. Mm -hmm. So you press connect. It's sensing the 360 go to. Link app. Yes. Boom. It's connecting. Just so you guys can see what's happening here. Unable to join the network. There we go. Yeah, that's what it failed to do. There you go. Now, now it's connected. So you get it connected in your Wi-Fi as well. 
There you go. This. There oh, you go. There you go. Nice. Look at that. Wah! All right. So inside the app, you get Moments. photo and video settings. Mm -hmm. You can change the aspect ratio. Uh, it tells you you can change the resolution to 1080. Oh, you have white balance settings in here, so I can actually nice. change the white balance settings. We get manual mode, so I can change the ISO. And we have the thing Look at this. there. That's why it looks weird. Oh, yeah, that's right. The plastic. Remove all plastic from the device. It will help you. Sorry, guys. The now it's clean. The first time I shot with my Osmo, I realized afterwards I still had the plastic on that, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I could change the white balance. So there's an outside white balance. There is 27, which is closer to our studio. I can change the, uh, looks like the shutter speed, 1 over 60. It looks like it's an NTSC. Oh, maybe you can change that. Let's see here. But anyway, recording. Oh yeah, now it blinks. Hello. Oh, yeah. So what's the maximum time you can record with this? 30 minutes if you're recording. Uh, 30 minutes if you're recording with this. So now we get the app working. We yeah. got that working. We're recording. It's nice. We can see some of the settings in this bad boy. ISO, shutter, and white balance. You can all manually control. You can control the... Uh, resolution, you either get 1080 or 1440. You can also edit in here. You can edit in here. Uh, you can change the view to whoo, linear, Whoa. narrow. Yeah, wide. Action wide. Oh. Whoa, that makes your biceps look like monster biceps. And they always do. Normal wide. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You can do a lot with the settings with this guy. So. We'll uh, we'll take this out in the field and crazy. We'll see you out there. Yeah. So with the Insta360 Go 2, we actually tested just about everything you could do with this. We had it on a mini golf course, we had it in a playground, we attached it to our kids on a skate park, we attached it to race cars, the kids' remote control race cars. We took it on our vacation to this castle here. This is Vadstenes Slot on the second biggest lake in Sweden, a really cool castle. Uh, and we did a time shift running around through here, and that looked really cool. We had it with us everywhere as we went over the summer. We, we took it to the beach, we did time lapses, we tested the HDR. Oh, we actually tested the underwater with it too. We took it fishing and we casted it out uh, into the lake and we, we drug it back. We did have to use an extra, uh, not gummy band or uh, elastic band, but you know those little zip ties that you use to hold your cables together? We zip tied that to the hook and uh, sipped it to this. Anyway, this little camera, terrific quality out of it. Really enjoy it. The interface is great too. I'm gonna show you now here how easy it is to use the, the buttons. You can actually go through the entire menu right here. You don't have to have your phone connected, but it's easier of course to do it through the app in the phone. So you adjust the footage inside your phone and, that, and then you actually export it to your phone, and from your phone you send it to your computer. But we didn't see any major drop in quality in the resolution when we did that. It still worked great, it still cut great. And again, like the low light was really terrific in this guy. I was also super impressed by the HDR test. Uh, it, it did an excellent job. I mean, it's not like 
the highest quality HDR video I ever seen, but it did a great job for holding on to highlights and low lights. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. You can set it with a wide angle, you can set it with like an ultra wide angle. I really enjoyed everything that this little device can do and I'm excited to try it on some other productions with us. I hope this is something that helps you out because we really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Six, go. Go, yeah, go.